he started with Mace and it's like, yeah, Mace is cool. Like Mace uh, yeah. is cool. T Bar were like, what? And then Slapjack <laughs> was like, oh. Rewind, recap, relive. For over 50 episodes, the revolutionary force in wrestling interview. I hate to skip ahead, but I do want to get to it. Um, perhaps maybe it was a fond memory for you, maybe not. But when you moved up to the main roster and Retribution mm-hmm. started, what was the first pitch to you like of Retribution? If you could just take us through that that journey. Oh, there was no pitch. There was there no was pitch. A- <laughs> so you... <laughs> They're making it up as they went along. Like it was fucking it showed whatever. But like it was just from what we'd seen of the other stuff that people were doing, um, we were pretty like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I who wouldn't have wanted to be a part of that when it was just dudes in hoods with chainsaws flipping cars and throwing molotovs. I was like beating people up backstage. I'm like, that's the coolest shit in wrestling when people do hardcore shit and have this huge production into it. We're like, fuck yeah. And then as soon as we, so other people were doing that, and then as soon as it became us, <laughs> that the backstage <laughs> stuff kind of stopped. <clears throat> um, and then COVID hit pretty hard again, so we lost all the goons. We lost the putty <laughs> patrol. We lost our putty <laughs> goons. All, all, all was- the, yeah, all these mobbing people, all that went away. We were like, uh-oh. <laughs> I remember it it went from like it went from like what felt like 30 people at the very beginning when it first debuted with yeah. the people in hoods to like 10 to around seven or six to like three. Yeah. <laughs> was... yeah. Because of the COVID restrictions, we just couldn't yeah. have extras there. Like it had to be bare bones at the shows. So yeah. And then they wanted them to steer away from the realistic QAnon or whatever it is, what's the thing? I don't know, news, but like that kind of like realistic stuff. So that's where yeah. it gets the mask. And like we pitched masks as well, but like we were pitching like kind of more cyberpunky ones. And then like mm. Dijak wanted more of a Darth Vader one. And I wanted more of like an Oni Demon mask. Um, and they would just be like entrance ones, something like that to fit that. Um, cyberpunky kind of rebel, whatever the thing it is, and then yeah, that's not what we got. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that slapjack. Do you still have that slapjack mask? Yeah, it's that's. I got the the uh, I got the second Mark II. Uh, Lindsay Dorado has the Mark One one because I was going to get that one turned into like a full hood that could easily come on and off. But then, like, so those were the original ones, and then they made ones that actually were better fitted to our heads. Um, and that became the Mark II. And then there were some other prototype ones, which I'm pretty sure Mace has, and his kids play with them. So, yeah, they're around. They're, they're very high-quality masks. Like, yeah. the guy who made Jason Baker made the mask for Black Phone, and he's made so many movie-quality masks. Uh, Jonah has the mask. The entrance mask here, he made that. So he's a professional, great mask maker. Um, and he did the best he could do with what was given to him. <laughs> Which it leads me to my next question, because I feel for a while, not at least I didn't know who was actually under all of the masks. I didn't know that was you for a little bit. Yeah. Did did people, did, did you, would, was there a moment? Who would think that? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Why would you be seen under that? Was there a moment yeah. when people really started to catch on? You were like, oh, they know it's me under here? People guessed it was me, and then I'd be like, you idiot, they wouldn't use Shane. He sucks. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure he's fired. <laughs> it was always like me. Because I was hiding my tattoos as well. But yeah, yeah it's like right. some of the some of the guesses were ridiculous. I'm like, I don't know. Like, there was, oh, what was one? It was like someone guessed thought it was someone was Roman and they had like the arm like zoomed in of the arm, like that's the same size. And and, and I think it was Mace. And I'm like, no, like, no, like, that's a black guy. Like, this is different. <laughs> it's different. Oh, yeah. oh my, were well, you yeah, Roman? That's crazy. Uh, yeah. The, the names, the names of Retribution is what I feel a lot of mm-hmm. people definitely remember. What were your, rea- I mean, I've never, Slapjack is something, but T-Bar 
threw me for a, I don't even know, like what, what was up with those names? Do you remember hearing them the first time? What was the reaction? It was, uh, <laughs> what? And then we like, cause we'd done this, I kind of, we had the opening segment with, I think Bray Wyatt and uh, Strowman, I believe was the opening of that one. So it was like half an hour before, like, so doors weren't opening, so it was just Thunderdome. We had like half an hour we were coming back through Gorilla. We'd still get fully in gear, then load into where we were. So we had half an hour to like face paint and gear up and get it all going. And Richard just like, here's your new names, bam, 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 just to the three of us guys because we were the only ones out there at the time. And then he said that the girls are going to be Reckoning and Retaliation. It was yeah. going to be Mercedes one. Um, but then I think very quickly after we knew she wasn't, I even like then we knew she wasn't actually going to be, she didn't want to do it. Um, and I'm like, can I have retaliation? Really? Like, can I have <laughs> <laughs> switch? He's got no switch. Uh, but yeah, it's just, I was like, the name, like when he, he started with Mace and it's like, yeah, Mace is cool. Like Mace yeah. is cool. T-Bar were like, what and then slapjack, <laughs> I'm like, that's like, I don't know what a slapjack is, it's a like a leather, like a leather thing with a bit of lead in mm-hmm. it, like, like a little baton kind of thing. Um, but I'm like, that's not a cool weapon, man. That's like kids, this is a kids' program, they don't know what that is. Like, that's, no. Yeah, it's an old <laughs> no. thing. T bar is, is meant to stand for that boy ain't right. Are you serious? Yeah, it's not like a crowbar or like a different because crowbar was already taken. Um, right. No, it's. I think we never got real confirmation on anything. It's like that's what it is, and like, and what is this character? I don't know. Figure it out. <laughs> and then do something, and the next day they go, eh. We like we put on monster voices because we're like, well, these are monster masks. Like, let's be yeah. supernatural monsters. Um, like, you know, we appear from under the ring and stuff like that. And they're like, eh, make it more human. So the next week, we're more human. <laughs> God, it was must have been a crazy time, definitely. I mean, to to be in something that was being built as you were trying to perform it. I mean, and it definitely, it showed. I, I feel like it showed you guys were trying, though, like your hardest. There was a lot of, there was a lot of effort put into that, you could tell, as a viewer. Yeah, maybe. From so your I'm guys' part, from your, yeah. I always try to do the best I can with when I'm out there, you know what I mean? I don't phone it in, but um, it did feel like as we were trying to really give it everything we could do, like the office was trying to get rid of it. I'm like, just get rid of it then. Like, if you don't want it, just get rid of it. Like, <laughs> let's just kill it off. Whatever, man. If you don't like it, you're the ones in control. <laughs> like, you you do. kill it. <laughs> Two weeks later, no one I can remember. Nobody cares. There's things that's like a hilarious thing about like wrestling, but you'll see something pop up for like two weeks um, and do nothing, disappear for a few months, and then they'll bring it back. And people are like, oh, old thing, good. <laughs> <laughs> Retribution was to come back now, people would fucking love it because old thing, good. Rewind, recap, relive. For over 50 episodes, the revolutionary force in wrestling interviews.